Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're checking out from Minimal Audio. This is Cluster Delay. As a disclosure, this plugin was sent to me for this review, but you can consider all of the opinions within this video my own. Let's get into it. Cluster Delay is the latest from Minimal Audio, and this thing is a multi-tap style delay, but it's not just that either. There's a lot of functions within this one plugin to really get very creative with your delays and how they sound and how one side may affect the other. And that may sound confusing right now, but it's because this is a really fun little plugin that you can do all kinds of crazy stuff in. So let's dive into the DAW and check out Cluster Delay. Okay, so here it is. This is by default what it pulls open as. And if you don't wanna check out all of the controls, and we're not gonna even go into all of them, but we are gonna hit most of them. If you just wanna hear the audio demo, use the chapters down below, and you can jump ahead to the audio demo. For now, let's go over some of these controls. Okay, let's go over just a handful of controls, because as you can see, there's a good amount of things going on here, but it also shows you what you're doing as you're doing it because of the graphical representation up on top here. You wanna change how many taps you have? Easy, click on it, and you can adjust to however many taps you want and you can see there's going to be five taps after the initial so right now when we're looking at the user interface the left hand side here this white bar that's the source signal coming in and we're seeing that because down on bottom we have our blend between our dry and our wet at 50 percent right now if i was going to put this all the way to 100 percent wet you can see we're just listening to the taps of this delay we'll reduce this back down to two it's default and double click here to put it back to 50 percent then we'll move to the upper left hand side this section right here this is your time section for the delays uh, obviously you can tell time this is synced to the bpms of my session but you can also change this to be free time normal which is also kind of like based on the beat free time is where you go into milliseconds triplets in case you're looking for triplet times with in your delays and dotted of course sync is again if you have something going on right now this is literally everything so 8 16 dot 18 eighth triplet excuse me but you understand but if you just want it to be only straight notes 18 6 4 something like this you guys understand that's how you can go through this sync gives you all of those options underneath that you have the analog button analog just adds some saturation into the signal but it's not like crazy distortion it's just very subtle and then the sync button here makes sure that your taps are locked in sync with whatever your timing mechanism up here might be set at because spread allows you to kind of adjust the left and the right as you can see on the user interface the top is the left hand side and the bottom is the right so as you adjust this one side might be delaying its taps at a different pace than the other side now you can start to see how this can get pretty crazy and then underneath that you have crossfeed and this is how much of what's happening in the left is getting fed to the right and what's happening in the right is getting fed to the left and then feedback is exactly like we expect in a delay style plugin it's how much of the signal gets fed back into the delay now let's move on to this center section here where we can adjust and manipulate the different sections and the different taps within the the delay that you have going on ramp does exactly that it changes the intensity of the delays within the different taps spacing allows you to offset that time that's before we said sync make sure that everything stays locked this one actually allows you to kind of spread it out a little but you can see with sync locked in the left and right hand side are kind of just locking to what should be the different notes spacing will supersede that and allow you to kind of adjust the left and right or the timing of the different taps high pass and low pass is exactly what you think it's a high pass filter and a low pass filter and then scatter allows you to kind of just offset what side is stronger so you can see if we go minus 57 percent the left hand side on the first tap is stronger than the right hand side but then for the second tap it's the opposite. So scatter allows you to kind of make a ping pong style delay. So if we were gonna go 100%, this is a typical ping pong. Same thing if we go the other way, except it just is in the opposite direction. But you can kind of blend in between and have some on both sides, but stronger on one side or the other. Then the section next to that 
is the modulation section. So if we turn this on, there's a few different options. Immediately with Wobble, you can see everything's just kind of moving. We're now getting some extra time or some less time, and you'll hear this within the delays. They might be slightly early or they might be slightly behind, but with this kind of Wobble, and we're out of sync now, we're just going by Hertz and Rate, it's just gonna move those delay timings a little bit. And that's kind of nice. I actually like doing that. Width is exactly what you think. It's not stereo width, but it's the width of the delays. So you can actually have this be mono if you drop this all the way down to zero. But 100% is you'll be able to have both left and right. Depth is exactly what you think. It's how much. But now look, the left and right are out of sync with each other. And that's really cool. If you were going to go over to the sync button, that changes the rate. So now you can lock it in to whatever the BPM is for your session. But honestly, with stuff like this, just kind of having it free roam is kind of nice. But Wobble isn't the only option in here. Like you can cycle through and we can have diffusion allowing us to bounce these things around a little bit more. And you could see they actually get kind of fuzzy. So let's increase this and you can see it kind of sticks around for a little bit more and spreads out. And then you may have also noticed that where it said with, it now changes to mix because we're adding in some diffusion. There's also a chorus effect. And now look at what's happening. It's kind of creating this chorus within the different taps. And we'll hear this in a few moments. And without clicking through everything, if you didn't want to do that, you could just click on the name and see all of the options. So the other ones are phaser, flanger, and frequency shift. So there's a lot going on in this plugin. If we get out of this real quick, the last few controls, the built-in ducker, so the ducker does exactly what you think it does. The signal coming in forces the output of the plugin down. It ducks it out of the way. So if you have this on a lead vocal, you're not just swimming in all of these different taps of delay. The ducker will make sure that the output of the plugin gets suppressed down so your lead vocal can come through. And then when they're done, it'll come back up. And that's what time is. It allows you to adjust how fast and slow the attack and release are for the ducker. They're linked on time, so you'll have to play around with it. It's not like you can adjust them individually. Then on bottom, input and output, kind of straightforward, signal going in, signal coming out. In the middle, you have your, your blends, your dry and wet. So something that's included in this plugin that I really like. So if I have this at 100% wet, but I'm just kind of banging through different presets and I wanna find something as a, a starting point, if I just click here now and go to basic shuffle, which is the first one, it changed my dry wet blend. Maybe I have this on a bus or an effects channel or something within your DAW. I gotta put this back to wet every single time. No, you don't. You can right click or alternate click if you're working on a Mac. That's usually a two finger on a trackpad. If you have a mouse, right click. Or if you don't, you can also hit option or alt and click on this. And then you get this where you can reset or lock the control. And you can do this for every control. You can lock it where you want. So as you're going through your presets, maybe you want your spacing a little bit offset at 24%. I want to lock this as well. And now when I go to the next preset, spacing is locked in at 24 and I'm 100% wet. I am locking these controls. And now I can just kind of click through and find something that is a good starting point within cluster delay. Okay, now we're going to get into the audio examples. I just went randomly into the preset browser and I found Los Flangeles. Kind of cool. I think you understand what's going on here because the modulation has a flanger on it. This plugin right now is on a bus and currently on that bus I have my lead vocal going into it. So on its own and I will hit solo so we only hear our lead vocal but we're also going to hear this delay which is coming through on the verb bus. Don't worry about it. It's just a name. On its own here is how the vocal sounds. Kiss you softly on your way to sleep. Now let's get really crazy and I have no idea how this is going to sound, but I'm going to turn on my send and we have Los Flangeles. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're Los Flangeles as our preset. And now let's take a listen. Kiss you softly on your way to sleep. So you can hear there's a ton of modulation going on within these different taps and it's moving around. But let's go back to just 
the basic shuffle, or really what we should do is go to the default and we have it locked in. I'm going to unlock, I'm going to right click and unlock the snap as well. And maybe we'll just do this real quick. Oh my goodness. What was that? Trail flanger. This looks ridiculous, but we're not going to mess with that now. What we're going to do is we're just going to dial something in with the default and throw this kind of way all over the place. So let's have some fun. Kiss you softly on your way to sleep from so many miles away. I tuck you in so you feel safe. As you can hear on one source, just this vocal, this thing can get really ridiculous, but really creative. Ridiculous doesn't have to be a bad thing. You can hear how it's moving around and is affected and isn't just your standard delay or reverb. There's a lot of things going on. The being able to adjust what's happening on the left and right, having what's happening on those sides feed into the other offsetting them, having different modulations happening, changing the spacing, the ramping between the two, just all of the movement and modulation and variety you can get from this plugin. And we only did with two taps. If you have more for whatever we have here, let's go seven. It's ridiculously dense. Look at what's happening now really crazy and you can see and hear it ramps up and then kind of dies out right now we have diffusion going on which is why it sounds like a little bit longer but if we change this to maybe some wobble and just had it like move around and was out of sync with each other or maybe just slowly or something like this and we can scatter them and change the spacing. There we go. Now we're getting like a little bit difference left and right and what's happening. We'll, we'll go ahead and change the ramp as well. This is more like a common delay, but let's go the other way. Maybe it's gonna ramp up and the delays are gonna get louder before they get softer. So there you go. That is Cluster Delay from Minimal Audio. If you wanna pick up Cluster Delay yourself, use the link down in the description. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. Want to join the community, talk plugins, maybe get some mix reviews, jump into the Discord. There's a link down below. Want to have me mix your record? I'd love to work with you. Check out timplansbaum.com and we'll get the process started over there. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.